What's up everybody, my name is Francis Ramos. I'm a petroleum engineering student at Texas Tech University. And welcome back to my channel where I break down oil and gas concepts to help you become a better petroleum engineer. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the different types of drill bits. Now, when it comes to drill bits, the biggest thing that we care about is rate of penetration versus durability. We wanna find the right drill bit for the right job and meaning that we need to find the right drill bit for the right formation. There are two types of drill bits. There are fixed or drag drill bits or tricone or roller cone drill bits. And fixed bits are drill bits that have fixed teeth. The teeth don't move. Um, they're usually made out of diamond or some sort of man-made diamond. The rate of penetration depends on the size of the of the teeth of each stone versus something like a roller cone where or a tricone where the teeth from the drill bit actually rotate separately from the drill bit and uh, we'll get into that today the first subcategory of fixed bits are what is called pvc bits and PVC stands for polycrystalline diamond compacts, otherwise known as man-made diamonds. These are the uh, drill bits that are used the most often today. And that's because um, not only are they cheaper than uh, and more economic than having natural or other diamond bits, they are also replaceable. And when it comes to PVC bits, um, because they are man-made and because they are uh, being newly designed and more recent, PVC bits have kind of overtaken the market. Actually, um, when it comes to PVC bits, some, if say a bit gets broken and needs repair, you can actually send the PVC bit back to the manufacturer like some sort of warranty, get it fixed, and then have it right back. And then there you go. You can use it again and again. PVC bits, they, are, they have a very fast rate of penetration and they last for a very long time. Next, in terms of fixed bits, we have natural diamond bits. And natural diamond bits are, of course, made of natural diamond. And um, they are almost always used for hard formations. And any diamond bit is really made for uh, hard formations. And when usually when diamond bits are used, it's because no PVC or roller cones or tricones can't penetrate the, uh, can't drill through that formation. The rate of penetration for diamond bits in general are very low. However, they're much more durable and they last much longer than say a PVC would in that same formation. When it comes to natural diamond bits, it really depends on the size of these stones. Generally, the smaller the stones, the faster ROP because less weight. Also in diamond bits, there's another category called TSP bits, which are also called, which are thermally stable, um, thermally stable polycrystal, no, TSP, thermally stable polycrystalline diamond. TSP bits are in their own category because uh, TSP bits are um, they're more suitable for high heat formations. Finally, in terms of diamond bits, we have impregnated diamond bits. And these are also in its own category because they are similar to TSP bits. However, they have slower rate of penetration. So they, um, they're more durable than basic T TSP bits. And because they're more durable, they're slower, and that's just, it's just how it is. Outside of diamond bits and fixed bits, we have tricones and roller cones. Roller cones are more versatile than fixed because they are more versatile. They have more, uh, they have more variety in terms of what they can deal with. For instance, if you have a formation that goes from hard to soft or soft to hard, tricones will uh, probably be able to 
deal with that transition versus uh, a fixed or diamond bit where you can't really, you can't drill through softer formations. Because of this, RPM, uh, revolutions per minute, of the speed of the drill bit is much easier to adjust. And uh, there are two types of uh, roller cones or tricones. There is mill tooth and insert. And mill tooth is, mill tooth has a higher penetration rate than an insert. However, an insert bit can handle harder formations. They have more compressive strength, meaning they can handle harder formations than mill tooth. But mill tooth has a higher penetration rate than uh, compressive strength. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you found this helpful, uh, please leave me a comment down below. But until then, uh, this is Francis and I will see you 